Joshua chapter 3 and the scriptures are being projected here. So uh, let us uh, read the word of God. Joshua chapter 3. Then Joshua rose early in the morning and uh, they set out from Acacia Grove and came to uh, Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they crossed over. So it was after three days that the uh, officers went through the camp and they commanded the people saying, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by, by which you may go. For you have not passed this way before. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and cross over before the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Hallelujah. Um, can you turn up the mic? Let us all together read verse 7. Regardless of what translation you have, let us read it together. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Beautiful scripture. Amen. I have, uh, you know, I, I was praying and the Lord put this in my heart. And I'm not a prophet. I'm not even the son of a prophet. My father was a carpenter. And my God was a carpenter too. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord gave me this thought in my heart. Very strong. Very beautiful. Very vivid. Uh, he impressed in my heart that this year, uh, 2012, contrary to what the Mayas say, this year is going to be a year of victory. Amen. Yes, we all are. I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. Stand up. And uh, turn, turn to someone and give him a five and tell them this year is a year of victory. Come on. This year is a year of victory. Come on, go to two, three people and tell those people this year is a year. did not believe God, 
and they die in the wilderness. And their, their uh, sepulchers or tombs were in the sand, with the desert, with the spiders, with the, you know, just a, in the desert. Yeah. But those that believe God, they're in a place close to the Jordan River to cross over and possess the blessing that God had for their life. I know that some of them were a little uh, timid. Some of them were uh, apprehensive. But others like uh, uh, Joshua and Caleb, turn me loose, turn me loose. I want to cross the Jordan and uh, possess a blessing. Amen. And this is the, the word that the Lord has given me to you. And I repeat, I'm not a prophet, but this is a word that is, that is impressed in my heart to deliver to you. And as I said in the bulletin, I know that you're gone through trials, uh, adversities, uh, tears, joys, many things in this past year. But right now, you have come to that place where it's time to check it out. Check it out. And take, possess, your blessing, Amen. your blessing is yours now, this year, today. I remember that passage uh, when uh, Paul um, had, an, had a, 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 a storm, and there was a storm, they were taking him prisoner, and there was a storm, and they uh, ended up in an island, and they were warming up in the fire, and, and, a, and a viper came and Got him by the hand, the Apostle Paul. And he lifted up the viper, and all the people that were there say, Ah, so he's, he's, he's a criminal. He's something. Look at him. He, he can't escape from justice. He had the viper in his hand. So Paul just shook it and got rid of it. And it's, I'm not going to receive this. I don't want this. I'm a man of God. And I know that some of you have gone through situations, trials, tribulations in your life. But the word of the Lord for you today is shake it out. Get rid of it. And get ready to enter the promised land. You don't conquer the promised land, although God calls you to do war. You possess the promised land. Amen. You know, you, you, do, you give the first step you move into the, into the blessing of God, and then God takes care of the rest. God told Joshua, walk go around the city of Jericho seven times, and boom, the walls came from tumbling down. Amen. And well, now today, National Geographic and all those channels, there, there was a fall under it. But there's no was fall. It's the power of God moving. Hallelujah. Amen. There's uh, nothing impossible for the power of God. Give a hand clap of praise. Thank you. Place where God was always there. 